Hello, Jamie, the hedge teacher. What is digital dementia and how can it affect you? Sadly, dementia is a term that we're all too familiar with these days. And as the number of cases increases, we are finding there are not many families that are unaffected by this horrible condition. However, the thought that this state is linked to the screen lifestyle is as controversial as it is troubling. Digital dementia, and it's a term coined by neuroscientist Manfred Spitzer. And he used it to describe an overuse of digital technology resulting in the breakdown of cognitive abilities. Spitzer proposes that short-term memory pathways will start to deteriorate from underuse if we overuse technology. And overuse of electronics by children has become a rising concern by not only doctors, but also many in the broader medical community. The demand for anything digital is at an all-time high. This deterioration of brain function is a result of the overuse of digital technology, such as computers, smartphones, and the general use of the internet. The excess use of technology leads to unbalanced brain development, as heavy users are more likely to overdevelop their left brains, leaving their right brains underdeveloped. With electronic technology in almost every household today, this new kind of electrical dementia is on the rise and hitting our youth at an alarming rate. With the advent of computers, young people are less reliant on their brains. And, you know, and intelligent computers can now do most of the thinking for them, which is leaving many young brains almost redundant. There's also the worry that overuse of technology is causing short attention spans. And as Dr. Manfred Spitzer wrote in a book named Digital Dementia, what we and our children are doing to our minds, he is a vocal advocate against training kids with computers and electronic media. In his book, he states, when you use the computer, you outsource your mental activity. And the more you train kids with computer games, the more attention deficit you get. His research shows that between 15 and 18 should be the minimum age for media consumption. The more time you spend with screen media, the less your social skills will be. Now, ways to avoid digital dementia. There are precautions we can take to limit our chances of getting electronic dementia. These include limiting screen time. Get physical. You know, in previous blogs and blogs I've mentioned this. Learn a new language. Read a real book, not a Kindle. Use your head as in adding or subtracting or the like. Interact more in real life like turning off the TV during meal times and enjoy hobbies. Play outdoors. Read paper newspapers if you need to. Play board games. And take at least 20 minutes away from ele any electronic Mag, you know, break any electromagnetic radiation device before you go to bed. Preferably spend this time meditating and rebalancing to get the most from your sleep. And some ideas for, for parents, for their children. You know, monitor their media and be aware of what apps they are using. Don't feel pressure to introduce technology too early in their life. Turn off TVs and other devices when not in use interact with them, play with them, listen to them. Keep the bedroom, meal times, screen free and use other ways to calm children, not the use of electronic devices. The use of these will only increase. As parents, it's our duty to care for our children and protect them from the new dangers such as digital dementia. We've all seen it. You know, you're in a restaurant and the, you know, the table next to us is a family. The adults and the kids all have their cell phones. Everyone is on their screen and no one is engaged in conversation. Besides the obvious lack of social interaction, is anyone paying attention to the other adverse effects that technology is having on us? This is a serious issue for you and your children. You know, do not ignore the very real consequences of electronic technology. 
The rise of these technological advances has only happened in the last 20 years and is accelerating rapidly. We are only just beginning to see the negative impacts of technology. And if the early data is any indication, it is likely to have a significant negative impact on the upcoming generations. Given the rise of cognitive and neurological degenerative changes that we are already seeing in our population, it is critical that we protect our brains from the emerging challenges associated with increased technology use. And one such is digital dementia. Don't keep this a secret. Share this with your friends and family. We have to look after ourselves because we know no one else is going to look after it for us. And remember the two common laws of old. Number one, do all you have agreed to do. And number two, do not encroach on others and their property. And these are highlighted in the Uncle Eric series of books by Richard J. Maybury. Until next time, this is Jamie at the Hedge Teacher.